Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ron Zanut back with a new video for you. This is the second video in my build log for my new Threadripper build. And it's going into my personal rig, it's a personal system, my STH-10. And I'm um, going to be um, telling you about or showing you some of the water cooling build parts in this, pr primarily the uh, reservoirs, the mounting, the pumps, some tubing, and uh, putting the blocks on the graphics card. So if it doesn't go too long, that's what I plan to show you in this video. As you can see here, I've got Singularity Computers parts that are planned for this build. I've been following Daniel Cannon from Singularity Computers for a number of years now. Learned a lot and been, uh, been, been grateful to be able to use some of his components in this build. Now, as you can see, there's some tube reservoirs. Uh, I have the uh, smoked acrylic um, tops, silver um, D5 covers, and the ethereal dual reservoir mounts. You can actually use those brackets to mount to a radiator. But I'll be mounting them in my case. And uh, those, re those reservoirs are uh, 200 mil reservoirs and uh, they are well you'll see I'll, sh I'll be talking a little more about them as I put them together so uh, look forward to having this system built and I hope you guys will join me for the ride now let's get into it so I'm really excited to be able to use these um, protium parts from Singularity Computers in my build um, you saw the motherboard, although it has RGB, it's really got some great black. Uh, my case is black, and there's a lot of a silver content in there as well. So my theme is kind of black and silver, and probably a little bit of uh, maybe some red. I've got to look and see, but um, there's some. I'm going to add a spike of color uh, as well. So uh, first up, in order to get going with uh, getting the case set up and modded, I do need to position and mount the the dual reservoir so uh, what is uh, pretty cool here is that I'm able to use the um, Singularity Computer uh, Proteum tube reservoirs this is a 200 mil um, res they call it a medium and the option that I got is this frosted acrylic so the frosted acrylic are the pieces that I uh, that I got to accent this now um, Daniel's been uh, doing systems well you know since I can remember when I first started and I've gotten to know them over the last few years um, and I have seen all the great things that he's done and I've learned a tremendous amount from him and one of the things I was excited about is when he decided to do his own um, parts and I'm so uh, that's so cool that he's able to bring all his knowledge and experience to bear and to create a uh, a line of products using all that experience so these reservoirs are uh, seem to be very flexible this uh, this one didn't come assembled like one I got with all the the fittings and things one he did send to me he sent me one set so it might have been this one that's already assembled um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at these um, we do have this aluminum um, the polished aluminum or silver is the is the uh, version that I got so it matches uh, all of my uh, components in there so we have a couple of uh, collars threaded that thread into this uh, 60 mil diameter tube by 200 and I love that he includes this um, the the return port normally like for EK you have to buy this separately well, you have, yeah, you have to buy that separately, and uh, Daniel includes it in his uh, reservoirs, and so that's great. And the other thing that I love is that um, you'll see when I go to mount it is that usually these are molded into the friggin' caps, you know, for EK or bits power. So uh, you are locked into where your fittings go unless you get creative in the way you, you know, you uh, mount your top on and where you actually can uh, or you have to spin your reservoir inside of the mount if you can do that of course remember you know most other ones have have a, you know the top and the bottom and they're fixed once you secure them in there so that the fact that this has a collar 
and you can adjust this in here and then tighten this down I think is brilliant it's a great thing uh, to have so anyway so I am going to be using these but I'm going to be using them um, with on here so my uh, my D5 pumps are going to get mounted to here so this is the reservoir uh, the protein reservoir and there are some gaskets there's one gasket here with the top port right here there's a gasket and it's a clear gasket which is cool and there is another gasket yes right here in this recess I don't know if you can see that but there's a there's a clear gasket right inside of here now so that is the tube you also get the tube res you also get uh, five uh, singularity computer logoed plugs which is great you'd usually do get a couple of like uh, basic ones with the bits power of the EK and then you have to buy the colored ones or whatever ones you want and Daniel includes some nice black ones with his logo on there so uh, I like I'm liking it liking it a lot so this is going to be my plan is to have this guy mounted on top the returns I like to have returns coming into the top of the reses here so uh, I'm gonna have this mounted on to the to the uh, D5 top. Now the D5 top, this is what you get. You get a couple of standoffs and a couple of countersunk screws. And um, you have here the uh, pump top. It has three plugs on it. Of course you're going to be using at least one. And this is designed so that you can, once you mount your pump and you have your pump with your that'll be mounted inside of here through the cover you could have it you know situated somewhere and tubing or fittings run to this but I am gonna have it I'm gonna remove this is not needed when you do a reservoir mount so you unscrew this and again this is really nice I like the uh, acrylic and what I'll be doing is screwing this down onto here. There we go. And I do need to use this uh, O-ring. Oh, there is already an O-ring inside of here. So there's an O-ring right on the inside here and here. So this is if you're going to use it on with this, I believe. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is where you use it for your pump, so I'll need to save that. And these tops have uh, places for LEDs. So you can put LEDs here and also for mounting. So they're threaded inserts for standoffs or for uh, screws so that you can mount it. So the way I'm going to be using this is with the reservoir on top like this. and then the pump covers uh, are also uh, beautifully done this is uh, the uh, silver again polished silver and you can also get them in black in various different colors acetyl you can see a picture on the side here um, it shows you that you can see and actually on the side of the box here it lists different kinds you can get Frost acrylic, uh, oh, this is a box for those. So this is black, gold, green, red, or silver. And the uh, so I think that's with the accent and the main color. So this is uh, 
the version I got. So here's a here's a shot with the black and the silver accents. So yeah, here's a shot with the black and the silver accents right here. But um, and then they also provide a um, some foam so that you can place on the inside here to keep any vibration or noise from coming through to the cap. And the beauty of having this cap separate, as you'll see, is when I put it in there, you can adjust this around to have your cables coming out really good and you no longer have to cut and strip the cable and feed it through a hole in a plate. Having it slotted so brilliant so that you don't have to do that. And you can adjust it uh, easily. You just loosen up the base, adjust it to where you want it, and you tighten it down. So uh, some great common sense in my mind was used in designing these. If you're a builder, you know what you run into, and you know what make can make life a lot easier. So, uh, so on my pump top, I don't need this. It's an optional piece here. And um, then, of course, when all is uh, done and I have the pump mounted to this, I will be mounting uh, the two inside of the uh, case using the uh, eth ethereal dual brackets here. So the silver ethereal dual brackets, and again, you can get these in many different colors and finishes. Um, so, and you just uh, loosen these up. This piece comes off. You put your uh, reservoir inside of here, and then screw this back down, and uh, you have them set. And there's some nice pieces of um, some uh, uh, rubber to protect the reservoir. Three pieces on here, and then of course you would then mount mount them through to this bracket, and this bracket is what you'll use to mount to the case. So. What I'm going to do is mount these disassembly together and then position it in the case so I know where I need to make the holes in order to mount these um, mount these brackets to it. So that's the plan, and you get to you'll get to watch me assemble it. So let me get the the right Allen head. All right, got it right. And let's take a look here at, uh, we don't need the those brackets here right now, let's get a pump and see how I had to, I had to take the connectors off and everything for removing it out of the uh, STH-10 last. So, so I already have them sleeved. Put the gasket in here, get my pump. Here. I'm going to apply this. Here. Like so. This is a version of the pump that has the uh, speed dial and I currently have the speed set to what four four and a half else full speed although I will be connecting this up to the Aquero I will not be controlling the speed of the pump because I for all the years that I've been doing this once I once I have the pump in I just have it on set it and I forget it just set it forget it that's how I do it so Two wires coming out the same spot.
think I want to do is have this pump to the back. I'm not sure I am going to have these facing out. I'm going to put a, a drain a port out of one of these and out comes out of the other one. So if there's going to be facing the front, then this is going to be to the back. And that's where I prefer to have my connections to. All right, so. so that's very nice. I can just have the pump oriented that way and tighten down this lid here. Loosen it up just a little bit so I can slide this cap over. Yeah, so if I need to adjust my pump, I can get to it nicely. my pump top mounted to the uh, the pump cover mounted to the pump top. I am now going to make sure the gasket's in there and then I'm going to screw on the reservoir top. have one pump, pump top, pump cover, and reservoir mounted. Now let's get the other one done. adjusting these tops as I need to once I get it into the system. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Alright, so I have it to here. I also have an option to, uh, to go in here as well. This is the pump out. And I don't know if you can see it though, right underneath here there's a little arrow pointing down. Right on the very, very edge. I don't know if the camera's it's focused right for down this area here. It's manually focused, so I can't do that. And then there's a little arrow pointing up here for the in. So nice. So in and out, and then this would be also an in, and this would be an in too. So here's your one out, and then you can have ins, one one here, or one here, or one here. And I'm gonna, I, to, I traditionally use the top as, a, as one of these guys is gonna be my return, whichever one I put the, the return tube to. All right, so for for this build right now, I don't. I am not using um, these right here, so I'll protect those. And now, next up, we're going to go ahead and mount these 
to um, to the ethereal ethereal brackets. And I'm going to mount, actually I should loosen them both up, but I'm not sure where I'm going to. So what makes the most sense and how does it look good? I'm mounting one at the very base here. So this one is not going to change. This one gets mounted down here. And it's so nice to have these brackets so that you can actually see coolant and they stop here and, and that they're, you know, these are, of course, some of the ones that you get with uh, the Bits Power EK are plastic, so they look like crap. Um, they, and I don't, you know, and they, I guess they do the job. Uh, I traditionally have used um, this type of setup either from a Bits Power or from a uh, EK set up uh, obviously they didn't have this kind of design but I would have it with the the base with the pump at the bottom and uh, the bracket that's what I had in my STH 10 before so a bracket mounting the pump to it and then putting the reservoir on the top and I've done the same kind of thing with the bits power once as well um, but the fact that you can put two of these so close together um, and uh, they're uniform and these brackets show off the coolant uh, that's really really nice I really like this design. So what do you think? Don't they look great? I think so. And now next, I got to get these screws out the back here. And then the case set up and decide where they're going to be mounted. So let me uh, undo these brack, undo the screws, and then I'll get the case out, and then we'll position exactly where we're going to get them mounted. So we have an extended ATX motherboard that's going to come out uh, kind of like actually where the other one did, my uh, um, Rampage 5 Extreme. I'm going to tighten these up a little bit still. Okay. So, I'm going to be taking pieces through the top and the bottom. Actually, should be able to some holes up there already. It would be nice if I could use reuse those holes. <coughs> I don't know if they didn't look like they're uh, the holes done it, they don't even look like they're, they're definitely not uh, level because I mounted I forgot what I had oh I drilled those to bring feed some cables through. These are the ones that I used to mount the uh, other pumps. So this is going to have to be a totally different spot. I need to get a level in there and mark them. And that looks good right about there. Gives me space to put fittings to be able to get through the top panel. But I do want to kind of block them. I don't think you're going to see those holes right about there. All right, so that is where it's going to be mounted, and I think, I'm thinking, I mean, these brackets stay in here. I think that's going to go there. I might decide to bring them down some. I, I need to take a think about that, so, uh, and then I need to mark these spots and drill some holes. All right, 
All right, so that's where she's going to go. Hopefully you can see that okay. I need to uh, do some modding here and get them mounted. All right, guys, now that I have the uh, reservoirs mounted, basically what I want to do now is figure out where I'm going to put my uh, tubing through the upper and lower levels. So uh, I already have some you know, pass-throughs, the front left from my previous build. Not sure that I'm going to use those in that same spot. So, um, but in order to really know where I'm going to need to have the pass-throughs into the upper and lower chambers, I'm going to need to install the radiators and the power supply, I guess, and also the motherboard uh, onto the uh, onto the uh, motherboard tray, so that I have a general idea. And I will start putting some fittings on there just to get things lined up. So right now the key is to understand where I'm going to put the pass-throughs to the upper lower compartments to get to the uh, radiators. All right, so I'm going to go off and uh, mount the radiators without the fans. I don't need the fans on them right now. Put in the power supply. And what else do I need to put in? Oh, yeah, like I said, the motherboard. And then I'll figure out where, if I'm going to mount a DVD player in the top or top section, I don't know that I'm going to do that. Probably not. And uh, where I'm going to mount the Aquero. Now, I don't have an Aquero with a faceplate, so that should be pretty easy to do. I'd probably put it most anywhere. But first things first, let's get those things together. And then uh, I'll take you through some ideas for where I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do with the loop. All right. And excuse me for my voice. I've got a really bad cold. I'm sick right now. But this is fun and healthy, I think. Okay, I have the uh, system with the radiators installed and the power supply. I didn't put the motherboard in yet because I'm still playing with it on the test bench. So, um, And what I'll start doing first is putting in the uh, connections for the reservoirs and stuff first. So, But I will show you that once I get the motherboard up in there. So right now, here's the plan. So what I'm thinking is, this is going to be the GPU loop. So what I'm going to do is uh, come out of here, or out of here. One of these is going to be a, a hookup for a drain port. Come out of here, come across to the uh, bottom GPU, and then come out and go up through the top. And this will be the radiator for the GPU loop. So up at the top, We'll, uh, that'll come up somewhere around here, so there's plenty of room. I'm only going to do a push configuration on the fan, so there's no, I'm not going to be using any of the space here. So somewhere around here we'll come up, then come all the way down, and then, then we'll go back down into the, uh, into the case, so through the mid plate, and then go down into, into this one right here. So that's how that's going to go. GPU through, up, across, and down, and in. Now CPU is going to be a little more complex. Uh, I'm going to come out of here, go down into through one of these, and actually, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'll get another camera angle, some B-roll that will show you here. Um, and maybe I can show you any after all. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. We'll come out of this reservoir, go down into this port right here, and then come. it comes out of that, and then goes right into this rad. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then uh, comes out of the rad, and then goes down, all the way down along the, uh, in between the power supply and the radiator. And then it'll come up right around here, and then go up into the CPU. Then it's going to come out of the CPU, roughly around this area here. And I'm going to go back down into here, and then go and then come up on one of these other ports that I have available, and, and come out of here and go all the way up. And either go around and go into the uh, the CPU rest because I like to see the 
the coolant drop down because that's what's going to be happening on the GPU one, right? So um, that's one way, or I'm going to take the piping all the way up through the top and then come down so it'll be symmetrical so both both of them will have uh, the same you know the return going straight down into them I think that's what I want to do that's probably going to look better <coughs> and more symmetrical so I think that's it now I got to figure out uh, which one of those pass-throughs are going to stay and which are going to go obviously I already have holes drilled there and those ports through there but I um, ordered some new ones and new plates I mean so I have a new plate coming that I can modify so I don't have the other ones there but at worst case if I only use two of those I will uh, plug up the other one so it'll still look finished so yeah so GPU out up to GPU to the top to the top to that that rad out of that rad into that reservoir and then CPU out and through down into this rad out of the rad come down through up over to the CPU block out of the CPU block over and down some nice spacing somewhere in there down and through and then up all the way through the top and coming back down into that one so anyway that's the plan right now things as you know can change so uh, let me get measuring and drilling some holes at least on this side here see what's going to work get some fittings out and I won't be drilling any holes till I have the motherboard with the block on it and some fittings laid out properly so this side I'm not going to start drilling on yet but this side over here I'm going to figure out which ones I'm going to use all right all right just to show you what we've got so far uh, I just uh, mock mounted those uh, reservoirs back. You can see um, those uh, extensions at the top just to make sure that the, the pass-throughs are lined up correctly, and they are. And uh, yes, if you notice, that uh, piping is hard tubing and not, not a PETG or acrylic. That's what I'm going with in this build. So I've got a bunch of that. Unfortunately, it only comes in straight pieces and I'm not going to be trying to bend any of that so for this run it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of right angles and then down here I have uh, this is actually I had it lined up so you can see that we'll have this coming down going into here and then coming right out of that fitting going right into the radiator and then coming out of the radiator and then making the long run down and then coming up here so the next thing I need to do is install the motherboard tray and uh, get uh, the alignment up to know where to put the pass through for that one coming up to the CPU and then uh, that's what we're going to be looking at next so I think uh, it's getting in there. So far, so good. All right, I put in the uh, Singularity computer, the different tops. I had the flat tops or, or bottom, I guess, whatever you want, I because it had three ports in it. This one has many more. I'm only going to need the two top ones. So, but I think that looks better. Also, I'm hoping to find a, uh, if I can get a, a three millimeter RGB LED that I could put in the tops to so have them light up and also controlled by the Aurora through the motherboard. I'm not sure if a single RGB LED exists, but I'm going to look for it. Then there's another shot of the pipe. Now, it's not going to look like that. I'm probably going to have some extensions at the bottom and the top and have that pipe in the center. But uh, that was just to make sure everything was lined up, and it does. So uh, anyway, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, work on getting the motherboard slid in there, and then finding the hole placement for the uh, in the bottom there for the coming up from the CPU loop.
Okay, in order to uh, arrange the fittings, I need to put this block on the motherboard. So this is the EK Supremacy Evo Threadripper Edition. So I've got that. And since this only is for AM4, there really is not too much to it. It is um, the block, right, completely like this. And uh, it just mounts directly into the post onto the, uh, the bracket for the CPU. I do need to remove this. And there we have it. And then I am going to orient it. I'm glad that it, I don't have to move the block around. I'm going to come in on this side and then return on that side. So this is the way it'll go. And now let's get some thermal paste on there. And I'm going to use some Arctic Silver. And I'm going to put a, a line across this set of dies. And a long line across this set of dies. I am going to actually put a slight X in the middle. A dab will do you there, and a dab will do you there. I think. That should suffice. Well, we'll see for sure once I get <clears throat> we'll get pressure on this, and I know what kind of temps I was getting with the uh, the uh, Corsair H100i. So I expect to get better temps with this. So my overclock is still remain stable and not. Uh, not things are not too hot. I think you know, this does have a couple of places for some three millimeter LEDs, which I think I don't know that I need them with the, the RGB on the brand, though I usually do. I usually do put lights on my blocks, but we'll see. The one thing that I would need though is uh, RGB LEDs, and I want them controlled by the. Uh, the software on the motherboard so that's one thing I need to check into all right okay this build will have a mix of bits power fittings as I usually use it's like EK water block in this one bits power water block in the GPUs all right now that we've got uh, the block on here I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the system start dressing up where the fittings will go so I can uh, make some more mods to the case So I don't think I really thought this through properly. I, in my mind, I thought the block was oriented this way when it was on the tray. But it should be because I want to have the tubing coming out from the bottom of the mid plate and then into this block and then coming out of the block and then going back down. Uh, I don't want to cross. I can't come up here because tubing is going to come across from the graphics card for that. And so I don't want to cross over the memory in case I need to remove it. So I want to go back down, either down and over or down and straight through. So I need to re reorient this. So I'm going to have to take it off, clean off the thermal paste, and see if I can turn this block that way without any issue. All right, so that's the plan. Well, guys, almost 40 minutes of video, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it now. The next video you'll see the uh, mod done for getting to the CPU and up to the rad up top and also I'll begin on the GPU water blocks as well and you'll see more of the tubing run completed. So that's it for Rounds and Nut for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did please like and if you're so inclined please subscribe so you can see more 
of this video log build and other reviews and tutorials. Thanks a lot. That's it from Ron's and Nut.